Hi everyone, so again, I'm George Leakeus, a primary care physician here in Midtown Manhattan, and I wanted to answer some frequently asked questions to our Lexington medical family in the hopes that many of you will not need to call the office as these questions are the most frequently asked questions and often the same ones over and over. So the first question is, how do we test? We have been testing people with a nasal swab. It is a very flexible, thin brush that you put in your nose Hi, 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 try to get some wet stuff, try to get some material and some cells, and we send it to the lab. At this point in time, it's taking four to five days. We have primarily been sending our specimens to Quest Labs, and maybe it will take longer as the system gets bombarded with more testing. Or perhaps it'll get quicker and shorter a time period as the system gets more efficient. Many people ask, should they be tested? The CDC.gov suggests that people who are not symptomatic not get tested. The reason that is, is that there is no advantage of knowing you are positive or negative if you have no symptoms. If you are negative and asymptomatic, you run the high risk of getting exposed on the way to the doctor's office. You run a risk of getting exposed by the doctor's office, where we in fact have tested positive a number of people to date. Again, all of them better so far and better by the time we gave them their results. If you test positive and if you have no symptoms, then you may have single-handedly exposed even one person on the way to the office, at the office, or on the way home, only to find out in four days that you are positive even though you have no symptoms, which means by definition that there is nothing to do. If you have symptoms, and you test negative, it is possible that you have gotten exposed on the way to the office, at the office, or on the way home, only to have had a cold, even possibly the flu, and something that will go away by itself. We've had a number of patients say, I have a cough, but I want to know if I test negative so I can go back to work. Again, if you have a cough or any symptom whatsoever, it is absolutely safer for you and for all of those around you to stay home. If you're positive and have symptoms, you may very well have contaminated people on the way to the office, at the office, or on the way home, only to be told that there is nothing to do except Tylenol and rest. As most people have a very mild case of COVID-19, just like the patients that we have tested and were positive. Although there are some new medicines that are very favorably being tested, it is not necessary to take them if you can even find them because you do not need to take a medicine for a virus that is resolving on its own. You should take Tylenol. You should try to measure your fevers as many people have been calling a fever of 99 significant. And you should be able to tell that the Tylenol is working for that fever. If you feel like you cannot breathe, or you might be in need of assistance like a ventilator or oxygen, you can call or call the Department of Health so that we can discuss the possibility that you would be better served in the hospital. The test is not nearly as important as staying home, socially distancing, and washing your hands. So please do recognize that although we are testing people, the delay in the diagnosis time is leading to the test being not so helpful except from an epidemiologic perspective and when we get all the numbers that we can, of course we might as well multiply that by something that includes those people that weren't tested, we will be shocked at the number of people that were exposed but pleasantly surprised at the number of people that got better on their own with very little interaction. Or, we can aggressively test until everybody gets exposed and things may be different. So thank you again for listening. Please do ask yourself, is it really important to know what the results of this test will be in three days? And if you are around somebody who is at high risk, like somebody elderly, it is much more important to avoid them unless you absolutely have to than to give them a false sense of security about your test, which was normal four days ago.